Hey everybody, welcome back to our Let's Play of Nobunaga's Ambition, Oda Clan. Okay, so in our last video, uh, we basically just sat on Okazaki like a mother hen on a precious egg. And uh, we developed some stuff up here, we worked on some enticement with some uh, generals here at the to in the Toki Clan. And the uh, thing about it is, they're almost ready. Uh, they're almost, almost ready to basically just come right over to our side. In fact, one of them would already uh, betray to us in a battle, but uh, not quite ready for extraction yet. So soon. Soon, yes. Um, also of note, the Kiso clan here, which is a, a single castle clan, uh, offered to swear, uh, basically become our vassal, and we declined. Uh, because I don't want to overextend myself at this point. Although uh, I was very flattered and I stroked my beard many times. <laughs> okay, uh, so we're about to go into the military phase of October, which is going to lead into November. Uh, we're just going to kind of keep an eye here on the Imagawas and see exactly what they do. What are you going to do? What you going to do, buddy? Alright. And uh, at the... if. Moments notice if one of them decides that uh, they want to come forward, we are going to uh, viciously slam the pause button and start setting some things into motion. The Oyumi Ashikaga clan was limited by the Koga Ashikaga clan. Looks like they are just going to chill. We can expect pacification, but no defection as long as Itetsu and Naba has no change of heart shall we continue conspiring so I guess what this is saying is that um, Itetsu Inaba at this current state will not actually just defect right over to us about the best we could hope for is in an attack uh, he would sit idly by so about that's the only thing so no there's no real reason to keep conspiring uh, more Shige Mr. Fancy Hat himself uh, has gained the impregnable trait. I can just feel the power. Good, good. Keep Yours. feeling the power. Alright, um, so we went into the red just a smidge. That's Reporting okay. In. Look at our log. Okay, good, good. I see some... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep working. Keep working. Um, anything of note? Not really. Okay, so it is now November. We're one month away from completing our... Historical quest to hold on show castle. Everything has went swimmingly so far. All right. Do a little bit of uh, the development. Let's go conscripts. Conscripts make the world go round or something. Crafts and uh, man, that's a huge jump for crops. I mean for crafts. You know, I don't know. Let's do crafts. I just can't ignore that uh, more efficient. Either way, we're not getting a whole lot out of this, are we? Uh, I mean, we can raise crops up, but the thing is, our conscripts are already at cap, so we're not really adding anything out here. I mean, we kind of are. Technically, we are adding out here. You just can't see it because uh, because of the hard cap. So let's just go crafts. Um, conscripts. Boy, these guys are just so bad, so bad. And we still have nobody at Okazaki. We couldn't move anybody. Let's try that again. Just see. No. Nope. No eligible officers. Why they're ineligible? No clue. Don't ask me. I don't know. Alright. We have 10 labor left. That's an awful, awful lot of labor. Awful lot of labor left. I don't need to survey. Not really. I don't really feel like scouting what either. Like? We might just uh, might just kind of sit sit idle this month. See what happens. In fact, I think we will. Alright, military phase. Commence. And go. Or active phase. 
Uh, Morinari, Ando has grown discontent enough, ending conspiracy. So basically, we're going to bring him over to our side next uh, next turn. I've gained the emissary trait. Next step, unification. Let Fantastic. Okay, so we uh, made 47 gold. Again. Nagano Kudo clan has changed their mind about us. This may lead to war. Be careful. So the Nagano Kudo have decided... Uh, that we are a threat. I don't know how much how good I feel about that. They were once friends, but now they're not. Matsudaira clan's foreign stance is now hostile. Nagano Kudo's foreign stance is now normal. Hmm, interesting. So it's not that they've went hostile to us, it's just that they no longer in awe of us. So they're just hostile. I guess we're not at war with them anymore. It's not refused. Hmm. So we'll just basically have to uh, guard our backs. Okay. Well, first of all, let's uh, let's go collude and pick up our uh, our officer here, Morinari Ando. Extract. Convince the opponent to join our clan. Join us. Now I don't know how this is going to affect the uh, the the relations with the Tokis. It might piss them off. It might do nothing. I don't know, but uh, we'll find out soon, won't we? Uh, rare goods. No thanks. Don't have quite that. Well, actually, what's the what ooh, like? selling price? Looking you're looking kind of fine there. We'll see. Maybe not this month. I bet the price will appreciate a bit more. Conscripts. Crafts. Crafts? Is that right? Yeah, crafts. 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 Conscripts. Conscripts. And we still have nobody at Okazaki. Alright, alright. Well, we're down to about 1800 gold, so I don't think we're gonna be, uh,. I don't think we're actually going to be doing any uh, facility development. So, all right, let's just uh, advance to the next turn and hopefully complete this quest. The Shina, Shina clan was eliminated by the Hatakeyama clan. Our collusion messenger has returned with a reply from Mornari Ando. To think that you would have such need of me, I will join you joyfully. Let me gather my things. So he has joined us. Protect Ancho Castle for one year. Accomplished. Very good. Excellent. Quests into Mikawa. Accomplished. So I'm sure we'll get another quest. We'll see where it leads us. Will it lead us more into the Imagawa? Gain the tactician trait. Next stop, unification. Cutscene! While confusion overtook the Masadara clan at the death of Kiyoyasu, they lost Ancho Castle to the Oda clan. Once their leader, Hirotada Matsudaira, realized that it would not be possible to fend off the Oda invasion alone, he sought the help of the Imagawa clan once again. The Matsudaira clan itself lacked much power, and the relations between the clans started to resemble that of a master and servant. Your plan was a success, Master. Now Nobuhita won't e be able to even touch Mikawa. How were Nobuhita's troops, though? Them? Strong. Made me realize why they call him the Tiger of Owari. However, he cannot hold a candle to you, Master. After all, this age has no shortage of tigers. Then we will hunt the beast eventually. Now, however, is not the time. Indeed, let us organize Mikawa for battle. Nobuhita is a mere retainer. I cannot imagine him doing well in a war of attrition. Exactly, my lord, when he is out of soldiers, that is when he will fire the arrow between the eyes of the tiger. Aside from the Oda clan, the Imagawa clan had the fierce Hojo to deal with in the east, preventing them from throwing all of their military might into Awari. On the other hand, Nobuhita would also find himself with strong foes aside from the Imagawa, bringing his battle in Mikawa to a deadlock. Sounds auspicious. For generations, the representative 
of Mino had come from the Toki clan. After a succession dispute in that very clan, Yorinori Toki came out on top as the clan head. However, the clan had become considerably weakened due to unending internal conflicts and meddling by surrounding countries. Amidst this turbulent situation, Dosan Saito displayed his talents in aiding Yorinori. The internal conflicts in Mino were finally beginning to settle down, but that was not what Dosan desired. I need to stop protecting that fool soon. In this world, having a weak leader in charge of a country goes against the will of the heavens. Especially if it's a country abundant in resources like Mino. I cannot hand over Mino to an outsider. After building Inabayama Castle and fortifying it against intruders, Dosan raised an army and drove Yorinori out of the country. Although Dosan's origins, and even his true name, are shrouded in mystery, what is certain is that he was able to overthrow Mino's ruler and take control for himself. Due to his cunning tactics that left his opponents no room to escape, the people took to calling him the Viper of Mino. Hmm. Interesting. Another cutscene. Lots of things going on. Caught by the venomous fangs of Dosun Saito, the Viper of Mino, and chased out of his lands, Yorinori Toki, Mino's representative, sought the talented <clears throat> Nobuhita Oda's help. Taking Mino back for its rightful master was the perfect justification for Nobuhita to attack the fertile land. Masahita, prepare to march. Yes, my lord, we're going to Mino, aren't we? Heh. The representative of Mino is begging us for help. We can't leave him alone now, can we? Aha, what? Are you taking that seriously? Yorinori may be a fool better off dead, but this is the perfect chance to make Mino ours. Yorinori's nephew has asked the Asakura for help. With that, we can catch Dosan in a pincer attack. Understood, my lord. I will immediately send a messenger to the Asakura then. See to it, Masahira, I leave this to you. Yoshimune Shiba, representative of the Awari, is every bit of a fool as Yorinori, yet we lack the proper justification for slaying him. Lord Nobuhita is anxious. I can only hope we do not go too far into Mino and find trouble on our hands. Quests into Mino. See, here I was hoping that we would get some peacetime here to build up, but... The Viper, Dosan Saito, succeeded in his revolt and became the ruler of Mino. This gave Nobuhita the perfect justification, defeating a uh, usurper to invade the Northland. Of course we're going to proceed. Bring the Asakura clan's trust to 40. Sure. Alright, so we're going to send those troops back home. Man, we spent a bunch of money. Okay. Let's uh, grab these guys and uh, basically base them. They're going to return home. Um, so if I did a little bit of reading, uh, you know, about Nobunaga, etc., and uh, if if my reading is correct, actually uh, Saito ends up uh, he actually ended up becoming an Oda retainer. I want to say. I want to look at his. I want to look at you. Where? How can I look at you? Officer information. Hmm. Doesn't say. I want to say that was the case, but I don't know. Alright. So that is now finished. Our new quest is to raise the support of the... Must be an actual clan. Hmm. Must be an actual clan. Let's look around. Azai, Rokaku. There they are. Asakura. Um, <laughs> we should probably ally with this clan. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> um, what do they got going on? So what I want to know, like, how many castles do they have? How strong are they? They're pretty damn strong. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five different castles. Um, yeah, they're, yeah they're, we could definitely kind of catch them in a pincer, although they're sort of further away than we are. 
the Saito clan is still at normal relations with us, which is rather strange. But I'm sure that our actions will eventually push them into uh, hostility. It will push them into hostility. They will be pushed over the edge. They'll be pushed over the edge. Still nobody eligible to move from there, which is very strange to me. I don't understand. Oh well. Ask for Still 10.8. Do some development. Keep developing those conscripts, sir. We'll be using them before too long. Narumi. I don't know if I want to do this. In fact, I don't think I do. No thanks. Not cost efficient. You could argue that this isn't cost efficient either, but... Meh. 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 Well, I don't want to put any facilities down because we are pretty low on uh, gold. Let's take a look at our new officer. How about that? Yeah, this guy right here. Well, he's got good int. His politics are okay. Uh, loyalty right now is 20. Wow. Required loyalty 11. So his required loyalty is a bit high. Burtons with loyalty, bearing eyes with no hint or defiance, will perform far above abilities. Great. Great. Um, says he's a Saito retainer, one of the Mino Three. Interesting. After the demise of the Saito, he served Nobunaga Oda, but was eventually exiled. During the Hanoji incident, he fought Itetsu Anaba and died. That's the other guy that we were uh, trying to kind of go at. So plus 10 because he just changed masters. So if he lost that plus 10, he would be at 10, which would be in the orange. He thinks he'll get along well with uh, with us. Okay, actually, no, he wouldn't because he's capped at 20. I guess 20 is the cap. Uh, if you took away the 10, he would still have plus 4 here because of these two modifiers. So he would still be uh, above 11. So that's good. Very good. Very good. Very good. What about, let's just take a look. Since this changed hands, I wonder if there are anybody if anybody else around. Ooh, Kamaha. That guy's not bad. Not bad. Sunachika Kaiho. Ooh, he's got two now. Interesting. Bokuzen Uji, who's just kind of like middle of the road. Does have a pretty nice hat, and I am pretty, ooh, what are these things? Nice little tassels there. I, really, I like this guy. He's pretty pretty strong. Uh, so he <laughs> he lost all of his discontent because it changed. So actually, I guess getting that guy when we got him was uh, pretty lucky. Because <laughs> uh, otherwise he wouldn't have been discontent anymore. So it was kind of nice. Nice move. What about down here in Kake, Kakegawa? Uh, no. No. Ooh. Got all these tasty fruits right for the picking. Just cost money. Just cost money, guys. Yeah, I'm not really seeing. It's got pretty good valor. And the best one is definitely Tetsu. Wow, we can get all the way over there. It's insane. But since that's the power of the Oda clan, they've heard of us far and wide. They're like, oh, those guys are awesome. The Oda clan, they rock. I want to work for the Oda clan. They have flex days, good insurance. Uh, okay. What do we want to do now? Well, let's take a look at our road sitch. Going on down here. Hmm. Some threes. Those are definitely going to need to go up to a four. We're going to want to put a 4 here. I'm fine with that being a 3. We eventually probably want to have all this be a 5. All these main arteries need to be a 5 for uh, development and also for quick troop movement. Alright. 
I think we're going to uh, could we move could we move the new guy down to Okazaki Morinari Ando Ando hmm we can we could move him or we could move Yorinori Toki Yorinori Toki he's got better politics anyways yeah we'll send him We need to have somebody in each different place for sure. For development purposes. And it wouldn't hurt to have an extra officer down here floating uh, so that we can work on appeasing some of these clans. So, right now, all of our extra officers, which we don't really have many, are uh, floating around up here. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and go to the next month. Now you guys should go away, right? Yeah, there they go. They might have just been holding that position just because they were afraid of what we would do. Let us decide what to do with captives. Please select those you wish to employ. Those you do not employ will either be freed or executed. So I'm expecting that we're going to have to either execute or free because, yeah, he's... Yeah, he. I think we've caught this guy before. I don't know what I want to do with him. I really don't like executing people. It's just not really in my character. Um, I don't really. I don't think we're gonna execute him. He won't. Em we can't employ him, but that's fine. Let's just let him go. Just let him go. Uh, we've done enough diplomacy on Takato Clan to form a six-month alliance. Might have continued diplomacy. Yes. Keep working on it. Let us begin the meeting. Here's All right, so we actually made some gold. That's good. Reporting in. Masushige. Man, his his uh, scores are getting really high. That's a good thing. It's good. All right. So, the game, let's take a look at our quest and see if there's some kind of like time limit on it. I went and looked, clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, failure condition, the daimyo of Oda clan is not Nobuhito Oda. The daimyo of Asakura clan is not Takakage Asakura. The daimyo of Saito clan is not Dosen Saito. Soteki Asakura does not belong to the Asakura clan. Um, damn, there's a lot of failure conditions. But there doesn't seem to be any uh, any time on this. Okay, so... Oh, wait, there is. Yes, yes, yes. There's a deadline. December 1547. So we're going to want to get on that. Pronto. What would you like? Um, okay, he's got some stuff here, but I don't think we want to buy it. I'm really not convinced about the whole... The wisdom of uh, buying stuff. Damn, look at all those troops. So what do we what do we got right now? If we if we like if we just like you know pulled a full flex on somebody if we were like all right we're coming at you, how many troops could we get? I love doing this kind of stuff because you know it just like, makes me feel strong. Seventy six so ten point five, thirteen point five. This would be fourteen, seventeen, almost twenty thousand troops is what we could what we could flex out on somebody right now. I mean. That's our total manpower. I don't think we could actually c deploy the total amount, and I don't think that would be wise, anyways. But you got to be feeling good about that. That's pretty, pretty good. I, at least I think it's pretty good. We're also, excuse me, we're gonna need to scout out the Tokis pretty soon. See what else, see what all they got. I can almost guarantee you, it's not gonna be what we've got. Do they have any allies? I'm sorry, the Saitos now. All right, so they're allied with. Uh, Looks like they're allied with these guys, the uh, Kitabatakis. So, and they're in awe of us, actually. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder if we could do, uh, you know, like get them allied with us to where they wouldn't do anything. I bet. I bet the thing is, though, this is a historical event, so it's kind of scripted. 
probably uh, once we get hostile with these guys, that no matter what we do with them, they're probably going to go hostile too. Probably. All right, so we know something we need to do is we need to work on some diplomacy with the Asakura clan. So let's send, who, who do we want to send? Let's send Nobuhita. Okay. Alright, time to do some more development. Surprise, surprise. Let's keep on doing some conscripts. Uh, yeah. Crafts. Crafts. Income's going to start ballooning. We're not going to do anything there. My god, you guys are terrible. You guys are friggin' terrible. Oh, and we have an overseer now. Hooray! Now, he's just marginally better than those other two guys, but... It's not too bad. Yeah, we definitely want to drive the conscripts up here. It's pretty good. Having 3,000 men down there is going to really... Uh, I imagine it's going to make the uh, Imagawas think a little a little long and hard about uh, doing anything down there. All right, We are going to sell some supplies, but probably not this month. We're going to wait until you like? probably the change of seasons and see what the price does. Hmm. Probably would be a pretty good idea. Hmm. Interesting. So he uh, he took some steps to make sure that we couldn't entice. Wait, or he moved them over here? Tetsu. We're probably going to want to entice him. I'm thinking that could be very very helpful in a battle. If we could get him to either take our side or sit idly by, could be the thing that uh, gives us the win. Alright, let's advance to the next turn. Saito clan allied with Rokaku. Uh, Sadakatsu gained the schemer trait. Let us begin the meeting. Here's last All right, so we are spending a lot of money on our alliance work right now, and we're also spending a lot of money on the policy. Reporting in. Uh, get, got a thousand horses from our tribes. Great. Oh, a Ronin. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Saito clan allied with Rokaku. Kitabataki clan. Fortified Inan? Hmm. Nagano Kudo did go hostile. Interesting. So they have went from being allied to us to being hostile. Well, if they know what's good for them, they will, uh, will probably keep their mouths shut. They're not really that strong. I could be underestimating them. I do admit, but... Uh, not really too worried about them. Alright, so let's take a look at this Ronin. Uh, Shigeharu Kuwayama. Well, nothing nothing horrible, but nothing great. Actually, kind of below average uh, all around. But he's cheap, and he's a body. So we're going to grab him. And now let's take a look at him. See what his loyalty is. Required loyalty 8, loyalty 7. So he's not very loyal right off the bat. Sometimes shows blatant hostility. Keeping master retainer relationship may be difficult. So he's one of the guys that would show up as orange. Toyotomi retainer. He protected the Toyotomi army stronghold at the Battle of Shiz. Shizugatake. Later, he served Hidenaga Toyotomi, becoming Chamberlain of Wakayama Castle and receiving land. 
He doesn't think he'll get along too well with his master, and that's giving him a negative. We could give him a treasure. It's an option. Um, I think basically what I'm going to do with him right now is we're not going to trust him with the castle. Uh, he'll just do gopher work. And if it comes to a point where we need him to lead soldiers, then then we would give him a treasure. Um, but at this point, I really don't care. We just won't use him in battle. I thought we surveyed here. Did we not survey here? I guess we didn't have anybody to survey. Alright. You. You. I pick you. Go. I bet he does find something. All right, um, I'm very tempted to uh, stop this diplomacy. Very, very tempted. So it's costing us some money. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's do some development. I mean, we are pouring money into crafts, which is making our in. Oh God. We'll gain six out of that. Six? It's not even worth investing up here. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's tenable. Yeah, we already know we're not going to do anything there. Keep the conscript. Conscript? Conscript train a rolling. Right here. Eh. As long as it'll pay for itself in a few months, I'm cool with it. But if, but if it ain't, if it's not going to make us some money for, you know, like in a short amount of time, I, I don't see any point in it. Better to just wait until we add like a facility or the, the thing develops a little bit more, you know, and then it will go up proportionally more. So, all right. Uh, I think this is a great place for us to put a cut in. And uh, in our next video, I'm anticipating we'll continue to develop... Uh, probably see about getting this quest complete up here. I mean, they're already at 15. Since uh, since we've got somebody with such a high political ability on it, it's gonna it's gonna rock it up pretty damn fast. So uh, yeah, and we'll continue to evaluate this situation over here. I, I really don't know what I want to do with them. I was kind of hoping that they would uh, offer an alliance to us, so that we didn't have to spend our trust to get the alliance with them. But you know, since we're going to be going at it with the Toki, it might not be a bad idea to have these guys uh, kind of in with us because uh, then it would be more, you know, we're talking about having a pincer here, but having two pincers, pretty awesome. But then again, that would also spread us thin because uh, that could we could potentially mean that we'd be fighting this way and this way, but uh, in all actuality, what I'd probably try to go for there would be focusing over here and sweeping to the left so we would start with like Ogaki because it's really close we'd wipe that out move this direction and then have these guys come over these guys come over and uh, do uh, you know fiddle around over here I guess that's is that their main uh, no that's their main castle right I don't know. yeah it is because it's got this on it what's the hmm only 3,000 uh, troops. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so, thank you for joining me. And in our next video, we will be doing all of that that I just talked about. We'll just see how it goes. So, thank you. Uh, yep. <laughs> I'll see you then. Until then.